everyone, it's Lightcast, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to more efficiently import clips into your timeline. Now, I know this sounds simple and you're like, Cor, why the heck are you spending time trying to teach us how to drag a clip into the timeline? Well, I've been doing it wrong my whole life, and I want to make sure that you don't make the same mistake that I've been making. So all you need to do is go into Premiere, make sure you have your folders imported and organized, and in our case, our raw folder is nice and available here. Make sure you're in your project bin and in the editing tab. You don't have to be in there, but if you're not sure, just go to window and then make sure you have certain properties open. In this case, it'd be the source monitor. But we're gonna go into the raw folder, open up a file that we want to import specific clips from. So we're gonna find this file, double click it, and now the source monitor will pop up. If you ever close this like that, you can actually open it up simply by going to window, source monitor, and it should pop up. And now you need to select portions of the clip that you want to import. And there's three different ways to actually import the clip. You can import the whole thing, the video, or the audio. And so we're going to select the beginning point, which is going to start just before he comes into focus, just about here, and select mark in. And then find the mark out point, which is about a few seconds after he comes into focus, which is about here. And now it has a sequence in and sequence out point. And again, you can drag it into the timeline by dragging in the video into the timeline, or you can select just video or just audio, just like that. And that's helpful if you have like a soundtrack in the background, you don't want to overwrite. If you drag the whole thing in, you might overwrite a sequence, and that's something that you definitely don't want to do. In our case, we just want to drag in the video, so we're going to go with drag video only, and just match that into the shot. And it helps when you're dragging in videos to have the snap in timeline or the magnet button selected here in this uh, bottom left corner. If you don't have it selected when you drag it in, you might overwrite a file, and that's not very helpful. So, snapping to place so that you don't have any black lines in the middle. And if you accidentally have that, you can actually just go ahead and, you know, just use ripple delete, and it'll snap and replace that section so that when you zoom in, it gets rid of all the black space. So, now you know how to do that. If that was hard, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you liked our video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date anytime we make a new video. And until next time, this is Lightcast, and thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.